21 Sneaky Goblins, 5 Bat Spells, 4 Super Dragons, and the Flame Flinger with a Dragon Rider inside. We're going live in 3, 2, 1. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of Eric. We just had to update drop and we're gonna do a Town Hall 12 war today. Every player in this war is required to either use the new Siege Machine or the new Super Dragons. So I hope we see something interesting. I hope we can get a feel for the power of the Super Dragons here and maybe see some ways to use this new Siege Machine that we haven't already seen in previous videos. But guys, let's go dive into it. Make sure the like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric. And Matthew didn't set a base. So Matthew is uh, not gonna be included in this video on defense, unfortunately, because he has a Town Hall 9 base. If you ever do a friendly war, make sure you set a base. <laughs> but I'm shouting you out, Matthew. I'm shouting you out. We'll see if you at least uh, carry on offense because that's a free triple for them. So we'll see how it rolls, but let's go dive into it. All right, guys, we're kicking it off here with FP sending in Super Dragons, and he used an Earthquake to activate the Town Hall so we could get his Flame Flinger to be able to target it. He also had a couple of Tesses dropped there, and he was able to trigger them out early so that the Flame Flinger could target them as well. And as long as he doesn't run into any ground skellies, his Flame Flinger will take that Town Hall. Also destroying all the walls over there too. Look how much damage that thing does. But it is very vulnerable and it slowly decays its ODHP over time. So you gotta be careful with it. But he also was able to take out... Was that an Expo in the compartment next to the Town Hall? Whatever it was. The Fire Flinger does have enough force there and it will take the town hall down without any issue and there's no ground scalies hitting it the super dragons charging in from the bottom side of the base here will start to work their way across they easily charged their way into this multi inferno he's got the queen that's gonna step in there and take out the eagle artillery this flame flinger will continue to move on it will he'll have the ward ability to protect him through the eagle shots there dragons are hanging in there but look at the flame flinger actually cleared out a bit of trash there so the dragons will ultimately turn back into the middle of the base he's got the Healed down, but he kind of needs to get the rage because he is fighting both sweepers at the same time. He won't have to fight both sweepers for long. Oh, he doesn't get. Oh, the dragons go to the outside. Come on, dragons. The flame flinger finally pulls the CC, and a lava hound comes out. He could have maybe avoided that had he opened up his uh, flame flinger manually before it pulled the CC. But the ground expo took it out, and now he has a lava hound in the middle of the base. Get this enemy queen down. The electro dragon and a. Uh, couple of balloons come out of that uh, flame flinger. Or wait, where'd the E-Drag come from? Maybe that wasn't from the flame flinger. I think the Dragon Rider was from the flame flinger. But he will get the Expo down. Hound pops. He's got a lot of time. He's got a lot of time here. If he gets the multi down, he just got the coastest way into cleanup here. But it looks like he does have enough force. <laughs> His funnel is kind of trash on the right side of the town hall to keep everything centered. But ultimately, it is going to be absolutely crushed here and let's see time fails will time fail this couldn't he uh oh he needs a split does he have enough time the giant could come in from the left side and go take out something he's gonna put it on the right side he just kind of needs to get some kind of damage in there the dragon will go and get that cannon down to save the giant but i think it's ultimately a time fail isn't it oh no <laughs> And that, my friends, is uh, the importance of minions for cleanup. You never know where you're going to need one. Always hold on to a minion or two for the far back side of the attack there. I could have saved it. But it is a time fail. Madav holds. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oopsie is live for the second attack of the war here. Using the Flame Flinger to go after the Town Hall. The Flame Flinger will activate the Town Hall when it strikes the Bomb Tower. And when it strikes the Archer Tower, because it's close enough to it, there's only a one tile gap. So it will also deal damage there as he continues to work his way in and take out the other defense around it. Every single one of these strikes is getting splash damage to hit the Town Hall in addition to the other defenses. 
And so that's gonna keep him moving very quickly, but the Expo does lock on to the Flame Flinger. And his Queen did not take it down in time. He needs one more shot, does not get it off. But the damage is still going in. Finish it. <laughs> no, he ranged out the balloons, but he didn't need to. He didn't need to. He cl he clones them. What? <laughs> okay, we'll see what the clone balloons can do over on the right side. That was a very interesting way to do it, but you definitely do have to watch out for those expos. They are one of the only defenses that can outrange the flame flinger there. He is able to get the sweeper out of the middle of the base there, and the clones are actually going to go all the way down to the Tesla farm before they ultimately fade out there. The air skellies took him out there, so they did die on their own, but he is struggling in the core of the base. The top super dragon is going to go down. The ones on the left side are going to get shot down as well. It is going to be a defense, guys. He definitely wanted his... Uh, Queen and King to take out that Expo, and that would have uh, definitely helped him out a lot more. But it is going to be a defense. That's one thing we got to be looking out for. <laughs> and he also needed a better funnel over on the left side as well. Got to keep those dragons funneled. One of the most important part of using dragons in general is ensuring that they have a very tight funnel. And that'll happen. Nice try. 64%. Modiv is live with... Super Dragons and the Flame Flinger. Now, we gotta look for Expos as a stopper for the Flame Flinger here. So we have an Expo covering this right side Inferno, an Expo covering the bottom Inferno, and the Town Hall is covered by that Expo. You can actually zap out an Expo to make so that you can clear a section of the base there. In fact, if you took out two, like these ones, you could end up Charging the Eagle Artillery and this Inferno with the the Flame Flinger there as long as you don't run any traps But he's opting to send in a couple of rocket balloons to trim out the arch tower up there. He puts a Lightning and the quake to hit the town hall now the town hall is activated So he could put the Flame Flinger on the side with no Expos to cause any problems for it, but he is kind of Moving a little bit slow here to start off the Time doesn't end up being an issue here. He started in a minion as well. He can start in a uh, more cleanup there as he does clear the defenses and start to work with that flame flinger there. And it can work its way eventually to take the town hall down. Now the CC is right there, but the CC will not get pulled and go to the flame flinger. But he'll start in the super dragons up in the top corner as he collapses in the right side with a baby dragon. That'll funnel form the funnel for the king to go into the multi inferno on the right side. He can join the king with the queen. We'll just have to see this flame flinger continue to work. The warden comes down with the super dragons. Get that multi-inferno down. It's this enemy queen engaged there, but the queen is picking off super dragons. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 warden, warden! Pop your warden! Ah, he went to auto warden! He got the enemy queen down. He drops in a headhunter a little bit late for that. The headhunter is going to pull the CC. And it looks like a super minion and headhunter CC come out. But it all goes to the right side of the base there, leaving that, that uh, flame flinger alone. Inflinger is getting targeted by the Mortar, though. Is it going to get that Town Hall down before it goes down? The Mortar did do some damage to it. The Mortar takes another strike at it. The Mortar does open it up, and Valkyries come out. He needs to freeze the Town Hall. It's very close to going down. No, maybe he didn't need to freeze it. I don't know. That's hard to say. But Madov is going to look like he's fallen short on this one here. As the Flame Flinger did not do its job completely. Even a Mortar can do a lot of damage to that thing. It is very, very vulnerable, guys. It's a defense. Amada falls short. He's up a lot of base. Whew. Whew. My team is uh, struggling over here. We need to step it up. <laughs> Yikes. All right. El Drago is live. Here we go. Going for the Queen Charge Super Dragons. We'll see what he can do with that. He sends in the Flame Flinger from the left side of the base to go after this air defense first. Uh, Barbarian was deployed in front of it. Make sure there's no Teslas. And that'll also start to work on the cleanup in that quarter as well as it dives all the way after the Multi-Inferno. While that's going on, he puts in the Queen on the opposite side of the base. Who will charge through the other Multi-Inferno. Flame Flinger tends to do really good for forming funnels or just going in and taking out a big section of the base all by itself. But you have to take advantage of its range. It's so slow that if you put other troops with it, 
it ends up not being able to get almost any value at all. Looks like uh, Eldrago's queen is going to step in. Left up that air defense, though. I don't know if he intended to get that air defense. I assume he did. He actually could have reached that expo over the wall, which is kind of interesting. I think. Yeah, he could. He could reach that expo over the wall. Gonna draw the queen all off there. But he'll put his king in the other side. Who doesn't have any way to enter into the base, so he's just walking the outside. He'll form the funnel out there. Should have just waited on the king a little bit there until he was ready to send in the dragon so we could get the cross tanking on the arch towers. Here, all the way around the corner, though. Queen has a jump to go to the town hall. Super dragons need to get going soon. They have a wide entry here to make their way into the base. He starts the super dragon over on the far left side of the base. <laughs> I. All right, you do you. Let's see if this can work. He'll charge the enemy queen to start it off. He does engage the town hall at the same time that he engages the CC. Queen's in trouble, she'll pop her ability. Headhunter takes off to the warden. The dragons are going to the trash over on this far left side. The up ones in the upper side will start to get picked off by this air defense. Only one survives up there and it takes an eagle strike. Oh no. Was he trying to pair the Dragon Rider coming out of the... Out of the Siege Machine with the Super Dragons? Is that what he's aiming to do? Because he probably should have put the Dragons right onto this air defense while the Queen was working and he's getting the cross tank in the middle. The King could have been taking the Arc Tars on the outside and that probably would have worked out much, much better and ultimately protected the Queen from the defenses in the middle compartment. Yeah, it's gonna be a defense. Ah, nice try. All right. No triples. No triples. Other than Matthew. Just Matthew. <laughs> he, he'll be our first triple. We'll see. All right, Matthew. It's your time to shine. Make up for not setting a base and take down a K K I. According to his name, he seems pretty average. But he's coming in with a... Bow Witch? <laughs> oh boy! Bow Witch! Against three Multi-Infernos! Is a... Interesting choice, to say the least. Let's see if it can work for him though. You'll send in... The siege machine over on the left side to start to clear out everything in that area of the base. The queen getting funneled to go into the eagle artillery. She will engage the enemy king here shortly. Baby dragon on the outside funneled her to enter into the base and not deploy the bowlers just yet. And he will need these bowlers and the heroes to take the town hall on the clear other side of this base. But at least the queen is taking the expo. For now, at least. Enemy Grand Warden and lots of ground skellies here tying up his queen. The siege machine does step in to give the queen a little bit of support here while the queen continues to tank those defenses and he will get those down. And the queen actually has access into the base there from the wall that got opened up by the siege machine. So we get the shots over on the mortar and we'll see what ultimately comes out of it. Needs two shots to take that mortar down. And then it'll survive a little bit longer. Still got a bit of HP. It might put a couple strikes off and finish off the Arch Tower and the Bomb Tower before it drops. But the Bowlers are coming down with the King. And they're uh, missing that Multi Inferno, unfortunately. They walked right past the funnel. They should be able to go back into the base there and take the Town Hall. The Queen goes into the middle. Uh, Tesla pops up on the top side and looks like Valkyrie's come out. He'll have to go back for the Tesla. But he will get the Town Hall down. And the jump will carry him into the middle of the base there where he fights out the CC with the poison. The witches are helping take that down, but the queen will go in there and get that multi-inferno down. Loses the healer to a black mine. Time is a big issue now. Valkyrie's out of the out of the siege machine. We're able to push in that left-hand quarter, but all the witches seem to have died. All the bowlers have died. The warden on his own over on the right side, not following the queen, which is ideal right now because, oh, 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 I thought he's going to take out the multi. He starts following the queen now. The Valkyries are moving over there, though. One Valkyrie onto the Wizard Tower. 
Or Architower now side of mean. Valkyries are alive. Queen's going back. The Queen. Now the warden goes over to the multi. Oh my god, he might be able to pull this off. Can he? Valkyrie go north. How much health does the Valkyrie have? It's got full health! He can go all the way! Matthew! You did it! I hope! Get it down, get it down, get it down, get it down! Oh, baby, it's a triple! Matthew, making up for not setting up base. All is forgiven, my friend. All is forgiven. Let's go. <laughs> GG, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> All part of this master plan. <laughs> All right. All right. That was fun. All right. Aki in against Oopsie. Oh, drops his queen right into a Tesla farm. He lets it down, though. He's able to survive it. If that was a warded walk, he probably would have been forced to a warded ability, but the queen handled it like a champ. He needs to get a Coco Loon down. He needs to search for black mines, especially in a Tesla farm. But he was able to survive it. And now we can start to work his way south. This is a base that I had been running for a very, very, very long time. And I still use it regularly. And Aki is going to try to take it down while Oopsie runs it on defense. A Tornado Trap follows up the Queen for just a moment. But she is getting healed back up here. The Super Witches start their win. He did not have to burn a Rage on that. And he did not have to burn his Queen ability. He'll zap out the Multi-Inferno. And he'll have to cross the entire base. Looks like he's got a couple of walls open here to work his way in. The King... Working with the Siege Machine over on the left side. The Siege Machine opened up the wall and will continue to throw rocks in there. Or Fire Spirits, I should say. The Kegel Pop is ability. The Flame Flinger is not going to really get any shots off for the most part. Maybe it'll sneak in a couple. Like, everything up in front of it keeps on stealing its targets. And so it will get minimal amounts of shots there until the defenses start to thin out on that left side of the base. It'll keep on moving its way forward, at least. Expos are tanked, so... At least he doesn't have to worry about that. He has not used his ward ability yet. Doesn't actually have to have the ward ability for the Town Hall takedown. You can pop it early, and he will. Got the freeze. He can protect over there. The Siege Machine is going to go here at the Arch Tower on the far left side. And it will... It's still at half HP. Like, it still has a lot of HP left. The Queen has her ability. She'll pop it right there. Take the Town Hall down. The king is sitting right behind it and distracted on the king and onto the ground skellies. Town Hall does not drop. He's distracted, but when Witch reaches in, but also gets distracted as well. It's sitting at very low HP, finally takes it down. And look at this siege machine. Till still chipping away. The ground expo does finally turn onto it. Got a little bit of cleanup following the siege machine, and looks like Yetis come out of it. Yetis will go in there, and the shots that already got off on the expo do ultimately take it down but even just a little bit of expo fire for a little bit of time will drop that thing in an instant you gotta be super super careful but the queen's still alive lost all the healers there's no more super witches but uh, looks like a couple of giants come down as well on the backside, and he will get all the way to the middle of the base here. the queen's stuck on walls i don't know why she's attacking the wall when she can literally walk where the where the big boys are walking right now and go around she's not very smart does he have enough time to finish it if he doesn't finish this in time, then we can still come back and take this war. Does he have enough time? A couple seconds left. Five, three, two, one. Catches it on the buzzer. Aki with the triple. Super witches get it done. All right. That means we got a triple. We got a triple to match. Drax is live. If he triples, the war is tied up. And he's coming in with Inferno Dragons. And Super Dragons in a hybrid. He's got the Flame Flinger. He's got a Quake and some Lightning. He can use the Quake and Lightning to take out both of the Expos by the Town Hall if he wanted to. He'll take out the Cannon over by the Town Hall, which will make so that he can start his Flame Flinger over there without it being threatened. But he does pull the CC. And he'll have to draw the CC off to the other side of the base there if he wants to use the Flame Flinger at the top. Like, he could zap out both of these Expos and use the Flame Flinger to take the Town Hall. Definitely an option. But he puts the King and the Queen up there. 
And we'll see if he can uh, get the town hall. I assume he's going after it. He drops in a couple of balloons to go take out the arc or the cannon. The king ends up walking on him. He does send in a couple of wall breakers and gets the wall broken open for the queen to step in. The king will continue on. But a nice way to form the final wall pull in the CC there. We're using the new ice wizards, the seasonal troop here. We'll get that town hall out, and the king cleared a decent amount of defenses on the outside of the base over on the right side. The Yeti will come in on the far left side with a balloon. The Yeti was able to go all the way in there and clear any potential traps in this entire area of the base, but watch out for the expo. It's at very low HP right now. I don't know how it got softened up to begin with, but if he hits the archer tower there, it will finish off the Expo. No, he's got the Quake. The Quake will finish it off, and it finishes off the Multi Inferno. Now the Flame Flinger will have just like free access to everything on that side of the base. He's crossed 50%, so any Tesla's that are in that area will pop, and he won't have to have any threats like that. His major threat now is this bottom corner. A Ground Expo's up top, one Dragon splits off, kills the Warden, and will move on to the Eagle Artillery. You get a couple of red bombs there, but overall, still just fine. Rages up the dragon to go to the queen. He needs to freeze it as well. Freezes the air defense, not the queen. The queen kills the super dragon. He popped the warden ability. The queen needs to go down. Black mind goes off, kills the super dragon in the middle. The infernal dragons are working with the super dragons. Almost here. He's almost through. Come on. Keep it alive here. This is... Oh, warden! Oh, this warden! Can he clutch this? Me. The warden's getting targeted by the Tesla. Can I take it down before he gets down? No, no. Oh, rip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a defense. And that means that we need a defense. My base has to defend, and it has to defend at a low enough percentage that it gives us an opportunity to make a comeback on percentage and stars. Maybe I get a stress-free attack for the final attack here and we may already lose at that point there, but we really, really needed this triple here. He does get the percentage decently high, 87%. But the percentage, I don't know if we can catch up. Looking like they are 13.4, 13.4. Five sixty-seven 67%. They have to leave 67% on the board on their last attack. Basically, they have to one star. And we have to triple. All right, well, let's have some fun with it. <laughs> we can't win anymore, but that's okay. That's okay. Just a 67% left. Like, just hold them to a 33%. That's all. <laughs> Thomas is live on me, and he's got a Noah's Ark with a Super Dragon. Let's go. <laughs> he's got a blimp. We'll see what kind of value we can get out of this blimp. But he has one of every troop except for, obviously, dragons. Because he's got Super Dragons. If he's missing a troop, then you'll just have to let us know. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see what he can do here. Perhaps this blimp way in there. Okay, where did it land? What compartment is it in? It's in the eagle compartment. Okay. Okay. You'll get the town hall activated. You'll destroy the CC. And you'll clear the core. Will you get that expo? A Valkyrie stops him from getting the expo down. The Expo's very, very weak, and so is the Warden Statue. Town Hall took a little bit of damage, but not too much. He'll start in... The Heroes in for the top corner. We'll see what kind of value we can get up there. But a Yeti will come down to Sport. He's got the Golem and the... Is there a P.E.K.K.A. in there, too? Finally gets the Valkyrie down on defense. That Valkyrie did a lot of work on defense. Uh, but he will send in his Valkyrie, his P.E.K.K.A., his Witch, and his Bowler. In from the top edge of the base there with the warden joining them. The queen might be going for a walk here, though. Yeah, the queen is definitely going for a walk on the left side. 
we can do there. He needs to get something onto that multi inferno. If he could put the baby dragon or the super dragon onto that multi inferno, that'd be pretty valuable. This is not really going great for him. Fiend will clear the air defense on the left side in the wizard tower. He puts in a baby dragon onto the inferno over there. Doesn't have a balloon with it. So uh, a couple of red bombs go up, but no black bombs. And the super dragon will go in to help support. And then we'll cross over to the left side of the base. The warden is still following the witch, the golem, the Pekka, and the bowler over on that right side. He finally pops his ward ability. The super dragon will rage up and try to get the expo down. And electro dragon clears out the far left hand corner. Decent push in from this right side. He's still got a miner and a hog. He'll probably need at least one of those for the clean him up top. But he still has to get his way through the queen. Super dragon not going to last too much longer. Tornado trap's all out there. We'll try to get through this uh, multi inferno before it goes down. E drag steps in. If it get a shot off, it'll chain through the multi. And actually, yeah, that works. That works. Okay. He still doesn't have enough though. <laughs> It was a fun attempt, but uh, Thomas ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen, buddy. It is enough for the win, though. It's enough for the win. Maybe if the queen would have stuck with the main pack there, he could have had it, but... Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. All right. 21 Seeky Goblins. Five Bat Spells. Four Super Dragons. And the Flame Flinger with a Dragon Rider inside. We're going live in three, two, one. Let's go. Start off with the Town Hall Takedown. I'm gonna grab out this board over here. The first torch down. Second storage down. I need to get a. That'll go down in a second. Put one more tester onto the town hall. And one, two, three, four, five. Need one more. Okay, town hall is dropped. Let's go with the heroes. Well, King, Wizard, Queen, Ice Golem, TC's being drawn over, Poison it up, sending the Flame Flinger over here, Giant, Flame Flinger, let it work, Pop King, sending Super Dragons, Warden, Rage him up on the entry, Early Warden. We need to hurry up and get that uh, Eagle Artillery down. Continue to chip away up there. Rage here. Okay. Same thing. Just do your thing over there. We will get the Eagle down finally. I need to take out that Wizard Tower and I can start the bats. Good now. Clean up down. Okay, looking okay. There's a tornado trap. I'll go freeze up these expos. All right, well, that was a little bit of a mistake there, but we're all right still. Let's get a little bit of cleanup down on this uh, right side. The best they got that wizard tower? Or Charming? Got that super dragon still alive in the middle. My flame flinger is still moving. My queen's still alive. I'm just going to let the flame flinger just continue to pick up value here. I'll put a wizard down to help out as well. Flame flinger will eventually go down to this uh, expo. And the, my uh, dragon rider will pop out. I think we got it. I think the dragon rider will go finish off the base here. And there we go, guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's too bad it wasn't for the win, though. It's too bad it wasn't for the win. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. But Sneaky Goblins, Super Dragons, Flame Flinger, Suey Hero, Super Dragons. Take the triple.
12 12. And uh, they got a free triple against Matthew. So maybe if Matthew would have set a base, we would have won. I blame Matthew. Everybody blame Matthew. <laughs> At least he tripled, right? At least he tripled. But that's where we're going to wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for coming out and enjoying these Town Hall 12 friendly wars as we test out the new Super Dragons and the new Siege Machine. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you hit that like button. And then we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I was that close to getting kicked out of one hive on my first day ever in the clan. And if that happened, I probably wouldn't be sitting in front of you today. <laughs>